You're not limited to running text in a straight line in Fireworks, no sir. By working with a path, you can have text travel in any direction at any angle, even on a curve. Let's give this a try. So I'm going to start with a brand new document here. File new, and I'll give myself enough working room, so 500 by 500 pixels. And there's my empty document. So I'm going to start by typing in some text. The text I'm going to type in is going to be surfs up at groundswell. There we go. So there's my text. And now I want to do is I want to put this basically on a curve because this whole theme of this website is about surfing and waves and you get that nice curvy kind of feel. So I'm going to grab my pen tool. I'm going to draw. Start off by setting a starting point. Move my mouse across a little bit on the canvas. Click and drag to establish a curve. And then I can move up to a different spot. Click again to, to end that point. And then if I double click, it'll actually lock the path in place. So I'm not constantly dragging the pen all over the place with a string hanging behind it. Now I'm going to grab my pointer tool and click and drag across both the path and the text. And all you need to do to get this thing to work is go to text, attach to path. And there we go. It's right on the path already. But hey, that's not all. We got a few more things that we can do with this. First of all, what's really neat about this is the text is still editable. So I can go in there and change the wording, whatever I like. Well, that is quite nice. But not just that. If I grab the sub selection tool from the tools panel, I can actually edit the path while the text is on the path. So this gives me, again, a lot of control. I don't have to ungroup things or anything along that line. I can just keep on going and editing the path to my heart's content and getting the text to work with that. Now, I'm going to actually select my text. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to change the size to go up to about 30, I guess. There we go. And um, what I want to do with this now is I want to make a couple other changes to it. So I'm going to go up to my text menu here. And we have this option here called orientation. So I can actually change the perspective of the text based on the curve or the path that it's following. So here we got a couple other ones. We got vertical. You can see here what happens is the text, every character remains completely upright and just follows the path. We've also got options in here for skew vertical. I kind of like this one because it makes the text look like it's turning with the path. So we get a bit almost like a 3D kind of look. And then the other option we've got here is skew horizontal so we get a slightly different look. The vertical one is probably my favorite out of the three. So I'm going to pop back over and change that back to skew vertical. And back in the text menu as well we also have the option to reverse direction. So we can click on that and we can actually run the text backwards. So you've got that ability in there as well. And I'll just go back and switch it back to the same spot. Now what about if we want the text to show up sort of in the middle of the path. What do we do? Well, you could add a bunch of spaces inside the text to do that. But, you know, let's be a little more professional on this. And we'll go down to the Properties Inspector, and we can do a couple different things. First thing we'll try is our Alignment option. We'll change the alignment. And that's basically align the text on the center of the path. The other option we've got, I'll just go back to my left alignment, is I can choose Text Offset. So I can type in here a value of, oh, I don't know, let's go 15. And you can see how that pushes the text in 15 pixels from its starting point. So you've got a lot of control over what you can do with the text. On top of all this, you can still do anything else you would normally be able to do with text. You can change the color, you can add a different kind of fill. Anything you could do with text before it was part of the path is still doable now. Remember though, while you can do all sorts of funky things with text and fireworks, HTML and browsers are not quite as accommodating. If you run text at an angle or along a curve, you're going to have to export that text as a graphic if you want it to display the same way on your web page.